What's going on everyone? I am Zipping Meteor. I know I just did a Loot Crate unboxing video yesterday as of this recording, but I got another package in the mail that I had planned on unboxing here. So we're going to get to that here in a minute, but first I need to actually finish the Loot Crate unboxing. I forgot to show you guys something. If you remember, with the villain's Loot Crate, they did like Batman and Joker sketches on the inside of the crate, which was a nice unique touch. They did something even more unique with the Heroes crate, and I think there's something in here most people won't actually realize. I'll go ahead and show it to you. It's meant to look like the Ninja, the, the Ninja Turtles lair. But there's something interesting on the box. Let's see if I can show you on my webcam. Notice the rug. The rug actually lifts up to create somewhat of a 3D couch. So they actually intend people to keep this to kind of, I guess, display the Ninja Turtle figure. Cool little touch. Oh, and top of loot crate's meant to look like a a sewer lid or whatever they're called. Rather cool little touch. While we're on the topic of heroes, let me show you something else I got in the mail today. I wasn't going to unbox this, so I just wanted to show you. Got a few Galaxy of the Guardi or Guardians of the Galaxy related T-shirts today. Rocket Raccoon style. Galaxy, or Nebula, whatever you want to call it, and a Groot and Rocket Star Wars crossover. Another cool little shirts. I've got two more Guardian shirts coming from T Fury sometime soon. And while we're on the topic of Guardians, I mentioned in the Loot Crate unboxing that I was going to be doing a new Groot speed paint, and I thought, what the heck, let's go ahead and show you guys a the initial sketch. It's going to be all digital when it's done. Much more adorable than the last version. Now. see that. The actual unboxing I'm doing. The forever spin tops that I got from Kickstarter, the remaining three at least have finally arrived, so I'm going to go ahead and show you all the different metals that I got. In this package there should be a mirror finished one, a titanium one, and a mystery one. I'm going to pull out all the little boxes and Show you what they are in order. What else do they send? I sent another note, but this time it's on a much thicker paper. What else? Did they sent a sticker. They did send a sticker. They didn't send that with my other two. Kind of odd to have different things coming in different packages. All right, first let's show the initial two that I got. First two that I got. There may be a few weird cuts in the video, just to warn you ahead of time. Brass. And the other one that I got first. Brushed finish steel, I believe. I assume this one's probably the mystery. This one is the mirror finished one, which from what I'm hearing is probably the hardest one to spin due to how smooth it is. It is most certainly a mirror finish. It's actually really cool looking. I like how much smoother it is. 
I'm not going to show full spin videos, but I do want to put this on the floor to see how well it actually does spin. So, excuse me for one moment. Whoever said it was harder to spin is, well, wrong. Of the three that I've tried, this one is the easiest to spin. And honestly, I think it feels the best of the three. So that was the mirror finish steel. This one should be the lightest one that I've got. This is the titanium top. Lightweight, slightly more gray color than the brushed. I'm noticing these actually are not as pointed on the tip as the original two that I got. I actually had to modify the first two because they were so pointed. So that's four tops. And this is the mystery one. I have no idea what this material is. might just be the normal material, but anodized green. At least I assume it's the normal material. It doesn't actually say, just mystery. Actually, I'm not even sure this is metal. really don't know. feels like metal, but it's, it's so much lighter than titanium. And I don't believe that it's 3D printed because it's, you'd be able to see the lines. It's not magnetic. It doesn't. This is, this is most certainly some kind of plastic. Possibly one of the 3D printed prototypes, maybe. It's cool. I mean, it's got a different feel than the metal ones. For all I know, this may be a metal one. It's not magnetic and it doesn't. No, it, it most certainly has to be plastic of some sort. I like it. Excuse the cut. I was rambling, so I'm cutting that all out of here. These were the Forever Spin tops. Titanium, brush, mirror, mystery, and brass. Considering the size, I'm glad I didn't decide to back the tungsten top. Wouldn't have been worth it. Too expensive for too little. So guys, if you like this, I will go ahead and put links to various Forever Spin stuff in the description down below, including their Kickstarter, their actual website, and probably the Indiegogo page as well. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you like any of my content, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching. Tomorrow, as of this recording, I'm going to freeze. So, I'm going to be dumping a big bucket of ice water on my head. Thank you all so much for watching. I am Zipping Meteor, and I will see you next time. Later.